for a set to do whatever gets us to co-op first. No one will actually pick between co-op and uh, Odyssey and the race. So I'll just go with uh, the... Uh, not Odyssey, the contest territory. So I'll just go with this first. Lead defender's spine must be broken afterwards. Yeah. Nah, he's good at training. Oh, crap. Uh, looks like pink team has taken over. Uh, so immediately we have to not allow that. First one I'm going for is Alchemist Touch as a time attack. Uh, let's see. It's Camouflage. And. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, we are currently in second place. We're not going to stay with that. We're going to be taking this tile over as quickly as we can. Well, it doesn't matter if we have it. We cannot let the other team have it. Let's see. Uh, as far as which one of these is the best one to start off with for this? I don't know which one is the best for a race. And I gotta make sure I do not be too greedy, because if I'm greedy, I will have to uh, have another jelly bean. Uh, it lets off as the cheapest option then. Blue ranks can pop up to 8 or so. Let's just skip 2 rounds in me, uh, early on. We don't have to work too hard to beat this time. I guess to pass this way. Uh, we're going to lose some lives, but that's fine. There we go, Blaze. I know usually if I'm doing top path, I want to get bottom with it, but... Uh, Faster stones seem like more of a pressing uh, one to have. The Sniper Paragon will have a long rifle with a bayonet and will spin to win it. <laughs> that would just be amusing. I know, not. The Elite Defender has wheelie shoes so it can turn fast. Okay then. Well, what I know about uh, time attacks is probably on time attacks it's better to have a bunch of towers uh, than uh, early on. Because these guys do better like this. I might not do vocal. Can we do not press fast forward because that just fucks us up. Let's go sentry gun here. Sentry gun will help. It's basically another smaller tower. And then fast engineer. Ah, there goes some more. Uh, as soon as we get Blade, Ricochet will be very good though. Hello Socks, how are you doing? Let's see. Blink Blade, Ricochet. Yeah, immediately that's much better. So let's skip a few rounds. Get a sniper, and first thing we'll do is get a camo so we can deal with that one.
I don't know if we have any... Do we have lead poppy power? Not from you. I don't feel like any of these actually give lead poppy power something. Oh yeah, we have alchemist touch. That's why. And so it doesn't need bottom pass, actually. Oh yeah, we can actually get hell power now. Get camera section, there we go. Okay, all the way there. I believe we are going to crush that time. Uh, we aren't exactly doing amazing yet though. I say we're going to crush their time and now we're about to lose. Yep, yep, and... Come on, please. Please heal us out, please. Okay, we're down to 34 lives. Uh, we're very close to losing. is not exactly going good. Like, timing-wise, we're still doing fine. We're not doing amazing time, but we're definitely going to crush them in time. Uh, but as far as our actual lives, uh, we're in danger. Yeah, let's get a helipad as well. And we're going for Operation Dark Sword. I should not press it so many ways forward at this one. There you go, Operation Dark Sword. Let's have you target strong. I can have both some targets strong. And you target press. Yeah, now we can have the mobs again. Fun fact, the times, leaf cash, these tiers, and boss time all increased now. Not sure what you mean by that. Let's go... Well, first, faster slowly, so to strong. Let's skip a few. Let's get a ninja. Let's just get a bunch of attacks. I feel like Bloom Jitsu would be very good when we have Alchemist Touch. Like if we were to get a 2 minute time over the course of today, it will go up to 4 minutes and 8 minutes. Yeah. That's how it's currently set. Okay, this is the last set of rounds. So I feel like I can just press fast forward now. Okay. Hello, Ellis. The dolphin emoji? Uh, I am not going to do that. Is what? Uh, 
yeah, it does look like uh, possibly it's a scam or someone trying to get you to click something. Yeah, I'm not going to read out that URL either in case people watch, uh, see it, but yeah, that definitely seems like it's a scam. Okay, so we got this tile, we got speed, and we got ourselves the uh, Alchemist Touch. And we took it from pink, which is a good thing. We want to take tiles away from pink right now. I do want to take... I want to get rid of the ones over here. But I feel like I should also get rid of the ones that they actually... Uh, have control. Like this one, 80... No, 95,000. It's the score they set here. You can do this to around 75 probably much better, uh, which is a much lower score. And this one, 124 tier. Okay, we're just doing this now. Uh, you guys said we have Alchemist Touch currently active, so we don't need Alchemist Touch on this right now. Let's just start this. It was 95k before. And my focus is going to be the tiles from pink because they're the ones in uh, winning. Let's see, we cannot... I do not have uh, the power that I would want for this. Like the best option would have been if I had the Super Monkey Storm power then could just wipe out the first two rounds with it and immediately go with you. Let's see, which has the best range? You have good range. Yours is worse. I might be completely wrong about the range, but I feel like the boomerang has the best range. That's why we're going with the boomerang. Are you heading out to get food? Okay. Uh, we're going to lose some lives on this one without a doubt. Okay, and now we have access to a druid as well. I think for the druid, I do not need top pass because we have alchemist touch. So we're going to go bottom pass once so we have a bit extra range and then we're going uh, middle path. Middle path will be our main path for it. There you go. The one swarm is going to be good for us. We need to get a decent amount of popping power here uh, before we remove this. We need to save to remove this without a doubt. The Heart Avenger gains 10% attack speed and 1% uh, for every life lost from the starting value after the upgrade. Max at 100%, it diminishes if lives are restored. Well, a uh, nice thing, uh, we've lost 7 lives, so he has increased attack speed then. That's nice. But we're probably going to lose more in the future anyway. I'm going to save up for Druid of the Jungle, and then I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, and try to get rid of this. Okay, now we have an uh, increase of 10% attack speed additional. There's three more. Okay, we keep on getting this. X, uh, what if there's a respawn area IRL, uh, but people are camping and that's what hell is? Honestly, that's an interesting idea. I like it. And now that we got that, we do not use you here yet anymore. 
And we can use that to get rid of this. That is a good idea. I like it. I would say if that is how it is, then where on earth is hell then? Right, since we're going for least tears, ah, the fact that I got rid of boomerang does feel wrong. Get this here. Let's get advanced charging so I can uh, hit camo. And uh, then we'll get. We want to get this one to be a 204. The people camp it are the beef industry, and cows aren't real, they're just big dogs. You are in Jude and Prison of Darkness for this time? Honestly, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. But since we have access to Alchemist Touch, I feel like this is going to be good enough. I uh, but. The fact I did have to start off with a boomerang does better, so. We could have ended up with a much better time earlier. If we had, uh, better relics. We don't have the good relics right now. But we have Alchemist Touch, so we are having one good. We save up Buckshot, which then will be able to deal with uh, a lot of stuff. Now with Buckshot, we should be able to deal with the Moab. Additionally, uh, I'd say that once we get to Tier 4, everything's good. Because it has the uh, build you target independently and it just attacks everywhere from here. There we go, it says Buckshot. Oh, uh, 17,000 is how much you have to save up. Jesus Christ. Well, I think this should be good though. It should. We're gonna keep on saying that. Also, we only lost 13 lives, so we aren't doing bad, in my opinion at least. Oh, uh, never mind, we lost more lives now. Come on. Top, motherfucker. Oh yeah, it completely crushed everything that's not a Moab. And it pretty much does it in one hit. Let's raise this slight bit. There we go, that's a better line. Yeah, so save up just 17,000, then it gets four times the attack power, uh, attack speed, and can target independently, which means I do not have to worry about this. That's gonna be good. Let's see, actual trade, what do you say this time? Last year for my birthday, we were living in Sinnoh, and I got the faster turning upgrade, just like Dartling Monkey, and now I can turn faster, but sometimes when I'm driving, I can, I have to turn it off. I'm confused with what any of that has to do with Sinnoh. The region in Pokemon. That just... I was expecting something else to pop up since you mentioned Sinnoh, but... Nope. That was it. Come on, deal with everything. Okay, Bloons are getting close to leaking. 
But we're also about to get this. Lunary denial system is very powerful. And now let's get it to target independently, and that's game. I will happily take the bet that this will beat the rest of the game. The fact that it has lead popping power additionally is very good for us. Bad for those that want to see me eating another jelly bean, but I guess I'm saving those jelly beans for the co-op games. While this is running, I'm going to grab myself a drink because game's good. See this? It's completely destroying me. There is no chance. Okay, there is a chance, but we're, we're gonna ignore that chance and say that there is no chance. <sighs> Still irritates me that I did have to put down a boomerang. Got to mention, uh, since I did mention earlier, uh, other rides I rode at Universal today uh, was there was the after Doctor Doom Freefall. It was wrapped around. We did the ride in the in Hogwarts. This weird one where. We we're supposed to be flying around on brooms. Oh, oh we're not flying on brooms, we're flying around on the bench, apparently. And then run into Dementors, a weep thing, Willow, and a bunch of other stuff. That's a good one. Uh, that one did uh, mess with Sean and give him bad enough headache that he wasn't up for riding us the rides, mostly. Uh, then we took the, the train uh, across to Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Uh, in the other park. Oh, we lost some lives there. So I bet that this wasn't going to... Ah... Well, I'm going to press retry because I'm not going all the way back to the beginning. I'm going to go back to round 60. Let's, let's close this computer. Time for a jelly bean. Let's see which one it's going to be. The color is gray. Okay, I'll put my mouth before I find out what it is. Yep, that's black pepper. That is very much black pepper. Yeah. Honestly, if you describe it, it's like eating a jelly bean, uh, but it's tasting like one of the, you know, the, the, the actual solid pieces of pepper, the ones that are the ball shape that you put in a pepper grinder to get the pep, uh, that you have to actually crunch to get the pepper. It tastes like I'm actually chewing on one of those. Peppercorn? Yeah. It's like I'm chewing on one of those, but... 
it, uh, the taste is matching up pretty much perfectly. And you know, on honestly, I also said I bet that I wasn't gonna, I had no chance of losing with sticking with those two towers, so I feel like I need to take a second one. One for the loss and one for uh, payment for saying that. So. Yeah, I jinxed myself, so let's try another one. This one looks like it's pink. Okay, pink had two options of either being cherry or candy floss. That would not be candy floss. That one's a good one. Okay. I'm fine with the, nah, the jinxing part. Let's press retry. Ah. So with 25,000 saved up. What is the least tiers way that we could beat this now? Your jungle's bounty would help, but it wouldn't be enough. Uh... Yeah, that's four. Yeah, that's, that's a few extra. But that's gonna crush it. That's gonna crush it now. Okay, now let's read what actually they said. Okay, they said, First day before that, I got a bike so that I could go up hills. I wanted to compete in a contest, but we were living in Oldberg and yeah. I do not know who you are in Sinnoh, but it does seem like you are trying to be a character in Sinnoh. One time, a gibble wandered down into Orpha and it bit Roark. When he tried to stop it, he had to go to hospital in Brazil. In Brazil! Ah. Uh. I don't know about the Brazil stuff. I don't know how that relates to it, but yeah. I have no idea what the fuck you're going on about. But something Pokemon related. Related. Okay, we finished the second tile. We crushed their score, but that score isn't exactly perfect either. I probably should have just went with the Prince of Darkness. Uh, like Sarah mentioned. Alright, hello Raven, how are you doing today? Just get jungle bound and you'll be fine. Nah. Okay, also I want to walk away that place. <sighs> oh, you say we do need to take some away from yellow as well. Honestly, I think we have to take away from yellow and pink. Uh, I'm Dallas taking away from both of them. I'm not doing a boss because I do not feel like I'll actually beat this score. 29 tiers here. Yeah, this one should be good. You need to kill Pink with a shovel. Yeah, I am heading after all the pink ones first. Let's see, this one they have a score of 29, uh, I'm assuming their score was much better before. I'm probably going to head for uh, just these two. No other town, it's just a, a, just a plane and a boat. Let's see, do we have, uh, we do not have the relic that helps with that. No wait, we do. A's, Heli, Buccaneer, and stuff. We have A and C. This one should be very easy as well. 
Round 67. Eighthly. Buccaneer. Uh, let's save it and we'll go for Grape Shot. There we go. Grape Shot now. Not the way back. You're doing the marching boots tile with 91 round fan? Good luck with that. Honestly, I don't care for the marching boots uh, relic. It's not exactly important in my eyes. I never actually use it. Okay, we're gonna need cow detection, and the cow detection will be coming from the plane. Everything has lead popping power, so we don't have to worry about this. I'm right now thinking, do I go a middle path or a top path uh, for the boat? Uh, for the plane, I'm thinking of going a 0 to 4. Now let's get down the plane right now. Watching boost is good for races? Oh. Okay. There we go, we have the camo detection. Then sharper dots. Central Pass is honestly probably my least favorite upgrade for any of the planes. Or hell, any of the military in general. Central or centered path is just not something I like. Okay, never miss targeting is 2260. So we wait for that. Self centered platform. Honestly, yeah, it feels like it's. It feels like it's me, it's too important. What upgrade have I used the least? Uh, yeah, I will boost you immediately. Total transformation. <laughs> the plane's just going to be all the way out here. Nice thing about this is it actually does make the darts go in the right direction permanently. Okay. I feel like it should be a better upgrade and that centered path should just be a given. Actually, if they want to make Centered Path a better upgrade, what they do is pretty much make it so that you can decide exactly where the center is for all of its different paths, not just for the Centered Path one. Like, Circle is the same thing, but have it that you can do Figure 8 and actually decide the placement of it. That would make Centered Path worth it. Okay, let's get destroyer. The question is, do I get hot shots at all? They do turn balloons on fire, so that is good. You know, we'll go aircraft carrier next. Center pass could also give a buff to the plane. Yeah.
Your accepted path needs improvement in general. This might be the first time I've done aircraft carrier of 4 1 Vivo. Because this is the first time I've noticed the purple outline and the purple flag. Yeah, this is just the first time I've noticed that. Let's see, one time I did a two tower chimp with a 502 boat and a prisoner of a prince of dark. Yes, I'm about right. I feel like if you're doing a two tower chimps, uh, Prince of Darkness is generally the easiest uh, one to pair it up with. Okay, we got Spectre, and now I think we're good. So once again, I'll make the statement that we are good uh, with just this, and that we're not going to lose. So if we lose, it would end up as two Jelly Beans instead of one. Ah, yay. Two townships is now a joke of achievement. Honestly, no. It is easier than it once was because people have figured out how to do it. Uh, but it still is decently difficult. You have to know that the f if you don't look up strategies on how to do it and try to figure out yourself, it is still a difficult achievement. That's it. That's one of the issues with achievement guides in general. It makes everything easier. And then if you try to make things difficult for the people that have already uh, looked at those guides, then you're making it even worse for the people that don't look at the guides and just want to figure it out when they play it themselves. Only hard part, only hard part of two townships is the chimp. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. It does seem like we're doing very good here. Uh, I feel like if they want to make two of Tower Chimps harder uh, to do with Jardo, uh you make the caveat that when you use Jardo, it's only Jardo is the only placeable tower. Uh, so no shooty turrets. Uh, no, uh, we don't call it. No genies. If you do that, then, uh, then draw the, uh, two tower chimps becomes near impossible. One tower chimps is n impossible at that point, but two tower chimps is nearly impossible. Uh, with Jarado, if you remove those two. Okay, yeah, it does look like we crushed it. Score of 16 is much better than the score they had.
Okay, there we go. We got another relic. I believe this one is called Abilitized. We got 180 monkey money, which that's good because I'm going to have to use that anytime we restart. And this goes 29, we got 13. That's a good one. Unnerf Gerardo is the second hero to do 1,000. First was Saw. Interesting, I didn't know that. Like, let's see. Going to distance, I like that one. Eh, but I don't want to do that map. See what to do. Regeneration. A score of a hundred and thirty-five thousand. I'm pretty sure we can crush the score. And regeneration is a very, very, very useful ability. But like we have marching boots now. Don't think we have to worry about it though. Yeah. Let's take this one away from yellow actually. Uh, let's see, first things first. Uh, we'll be a druid. For the obvious reasons that druids are very good. There's the one swarm and we start it off. And you did a two shower chimps on marching boots again. How can you do it on marching boots? That's just a, a relic tile. Yes, you mean to just a two tower game. Okay, same idea, just that it was two tower. That's a bit different. I think we save up for Druid of Jungle first and then we go for some planes. And we'll just leave it with planes. I guess technically we do a Super Monkey. Okay, we lost three lives, so. Let's see, so I'll eat a jelly bean if we lose, I'll eat one if we uh, run out of money, and then again, I'll eat one if I uh, say like, oh, now we're good, and just go confident with that, and then completely fuck it up. I don't want to eat any of those, that's for sure. Let's see, Druid Jungle would be fine. Let's get SL of the plane now. And figure it again. We'll immediately get ourselves camera detection and then we're going bottom pass three times. I do not believe uh, the current step I have is good enough. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, lead, so this is always good. Not having to worry about lead is very nice. Uh, never miss targeting, please hurry up. Without never miss targeting or wing monkey, I feel like you need one or the other when it comes to planes. Not having those makes it a bit more difficult. And by, by a bit, I mean quite a bit. You choose Ace, Michael? Honestly, that statement alone 
sounds like the solo statement of someone that would also uh, be fine with just chugging a bunch of these jelly beans. You just like the pain of having to do it there. Let's get these two upgrades so that you have more reach and attack speed increases as we lose lives. Just in case we lose more lives. Now, I, while I would like to go for Spectre, I don't think that's the next thing we go for. Instead, next thing we get another plane. Let's get down here. Let's go figure infinity and we go top half. So we can deal with some Moab. I mean, you play a really hard rhythm. The second you play any rhythm game, excluding Guitar Hero Rock Band, it immediately means you uh, enjoy way more than just a simple challenge. Oh, and Beat Saber. I guess that's the third one. Those are the three uh, gaming franchises uh, relating to Rizzo. No, they aren't the standard Rhythm games. They are the most popular, but they aren't the standards. I think we're good for now. Let's see how we deal with the Moab. Okay, we lost some lives there. Not all of them though, just so. Question is, how far can Spectre take us? Because I'm thinking we go for Spectre to save up for that. But will that be enough or do I need to get a second uh, strong tower? I not have jinxed myself. Well, I haven't jinxed myself yet on this one. But I don't know what would. I think Spectre will be good, but I feel like I'm going to need more than just one Spectre. Hopefully, we'll be able to afford Spectre in time. Because now we know for sure that the uh, Moabs are. Uh, oh, strong. And they will get past what we currently have set up. Actually, considering they getting past- Oh, shit. Okay, uh, in that case... Lost a decent amount of lives yet? I uh, hear Super Monkey. He'll help. I was very close to jinxing myself. Thankfully, I didn't say I was a guaranteed win, and if I, well, I was guaranteed to get Spectre in that time. If I did, then I would be screwed. There's another 20 lives. Uh, right now, it looks like if I continue at this pace, it's like the other, the person that took this tower possibly went with a Spectre and then Flying Fortress immediately after. Which I don't know how the fuck they got that amount of money. I don't think you get that amount for 72. Like, they would have to actually generate extra with just the uh, Druid constantly and then spend all of it. In the score grades, the cash spend increases. Okay, so pretty much the cash spent right now is literally above the possible amount. Unless you did the sniper. And had it go, or generate a bunch of money from the sniper. It's 
22,000, so we need 6,000 more. Yeah. I feel like we're just uh, bending back with the prize we We also wrote the Men in Black one. Uh, Men in Black, uh, uh, Agent Training. That was a great vibe. I like that. That was the last one we got to ride, uh, today. It's fun. I highly suggest that one. You shoot aliens, uh, with a ray gun, and you compete for a high score. I ended up with the high score of my group. I think like the average score of my group was like 93,000. Uh, the people to my left and right, uh, to the left was my brother, and he got like 40 to 60,000, somewhere in that range. I don't remember the exact number. Plus to my right, got like 80,000, I think, somewhere around that. And then me being the middle, at like, I think it was 216,000. Yeah, my score was way high. I'm like, I got the MVP. And then we got an average score uh, rating for a team that's average. Like the three rankings, we just got average. Could have gotten higher if the other two people went and fucking did good, but no. They don't know how to shoot aliens. Let's see, so as far as with additional ways to increase popping power right now, I'm thinking I can either get a second Spectre because I'm not getting a Flying Fortress, or I can just save up for Sky Shredder. And honestly... What do you think? Uh... Oh, Men in Black MIB Bloons weapon? Yes! Yes, that's exactly what it is. Okay. I think what happened with Alatiles is that they were made either by the, uh, score degree Degradation, yeah. I think that's pretty much exactly what's happening, wasn't it? And yeah, I'll go for a second Spectre. Wait, no I don't, with literally this amount. I shouldn't have even wasted this money. Okay, well, there we go. We beat the score very well. We got another tower, we got Restoration. A good bell, a very good one. 130 monkey money. Purple spreads. Purple spreads. Okay, I said I was going to leave the team tickets to later. So now that that's done, uh, the next event of the night. You know, I'll leave it as we get two of these three events for the rest of the night. We can either do the race event, the boss event, or co-op. Those are the ones. Which one do we do next? And then we'll have the 50-50 afterwards. I would say we should leave, if you're picking Corp as the one we should do, say we should leave Corp as the last one we do, but we do do it. Let's say, which one should we do next? I should also say, uh, with the race event, I only will be doing it once. If we do pick that. Same with the uh, boss event, we'll only be doing that once. Okay, so you do say race and co- Okay, so we'll leave the boss uh, till next time.
Okay. Now here comes the issue. I very, very, very often completely fuck up uh, races. I really do. So with that in mind, let's not fuck this one up. And let's see, what can I do? What can I do? Let's see, can this be cleared immediately? Nope, it costs a thousand. Let's see, what should be the additional challenge for this? Of course, if I go ahead and lose all my uh, lives, that's immediately I have to take one of the jelly beans. I also want to say, if I lose all my lives because I skipped way too many rounds all at once, I'd say that's another jelly bean. So that'd be a double jelly bean if I do that. And then a third jelly bean option is if I get over 10 minutes. If I get over 10 minutes, then it's another jelly bean. I think that sounds good. Let's see. Not get grape shot immediately. Back here. Yeah, I can't get immediately, but I can get it very quick. So I think I'll go... Lead says pineapples. I think pineapples is a good idea. I think the best one for... us probably this. Let's skip three, and hopefully we'll get uh, ten pops in time to get the grape shot. Yeah. Grape shot is great for this. Uh, now, next thing I want to get is some AoE popping power. Let's get a plane right here. Set it to figure eight. That's a good figure eight, and we'll go middle path. Because I want to get the bombs just going on these sections of the track. Skipped a bunch of rounds there. And we'll already have one minute. Come on, get me to 900 already. There you go. This is going better. Uh, we're not going at an extreme pace. I got lots more dots. Let's get a second plane. Fame is that thing. Immediately go for two bombers the same exact way. Could work very well. I think we're going to go for three bombers probably. We reached three minutes, nearly. We're about to reach it. This one will be Wing Monkey. Let's do Operation Dark Storm actually for Wing Monkey.
Okay, let's get the more of it. Okay, we can get just a bunch of blooms coming out now. Possibly too many blooms, hopefully not. Come on, heal them all. I want to go for just aircraft carry here. Oh, about to reach four minutes. I don't like how quickly we're getting, or how close we're getting to five minutes already. We're getting to five minutes too quickly, and I have to worry about the ten minute timeline. There we go, we have aircraft carry now. Let's skip a few. That one can be wing monkey as well. Ah, oh, that's a bunch of blues getting towards the end. Way too many. Please stop them, please stop them. Can you stop them? Oh, we lost a bunch of times there. Ah, we lost way too many lives at that one. Let's use that. Oh crap, I just skipped to 63. And I have no spike storm to help us out. Come on. Quickly, 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 quickly. So I said, uh, if I lose it's a Jelly Bean, and if I lose in particular before I, because I skip too many rounds, it's an additional one. So this is a two foot. I also said I'm not doing uh, a repeat. Check out two. Here's one. There you go, we have two. And they're two different flavors. We have a yellow one. And a dirty yellow one. Let's see the yellow one first. Go with lemon, okay. Other one. Other one with banana. I got lucky. <laughs> 